Hello and welcome to another Natrix tutorial. Uh, in this one I'm going to be showing you a different way of ripping a music CD to uh, your computer and saving it as MP3. Uh, we're going to be using four programs in uh, this tutorial. The first two are from Slysoft uh, called Clone CD and Virtual Clone Drive. Uh, you can Google for these or use your search engine to look for these. Um, you'll get to their website and you can download them. Virtual Clone Drive is freeware, so it'll never expire. You can use it as long as you want and it's free. Clone CD is um, a trial version, which when the trial has run out, uh, you can either buy it or you can uninstall it. The other two we're going to be using is Media Player Classic Home Cinema and Fubar 2000, which are both freeware programs. Okay, so first off, after you've inserted your audio CD, you want to open up Clone CD and you want to click on Read to Image File. This will create a digitized image of your audio CD. And I am going to save that to my desktop and I'm going to call it Tut for Tutorial. Okay, that. So we just let this uh, read the CD to our hard drive and I'll get back to you when that's done. Okay, so the reading process from Clone CD just finished. Uh, it ejected, it automatically ejected the CD drive tray. Um, so just take out your CD, close the drive again and close up Clone CD. When that's done, it will create uh, three files wherever you choose uh, for these files to be saved. And what you need to do is mount the .ccd file with virtual clone drive. Also make sure you don't delete any of these files or move one file into a different uh, location. They have to stay together. Uh, right click on the .ccd file, go to mount and mount it with clone drive. You'll then see that it'll ask you if you want to play it or whatever. So what we're going to do is open up uh, Media Player Classic Home Cinema, go to my computer and we're going to drag and drop the file into uh, Media Player Classic. I've turned off the audio because I'll have some background tunes playing anyway. What you want to do then is go to File and Save As and then you want to uh, go to a folder and these are going to be saved as WAV. So I'm going to save it in the TUT folder on the desktop for tutorial. It's going to be quite quick and then I'm going to skip to the next track and I'm going to do the same thing with that. Save it, skip to the next track and do the same thing for that. Uh, I'll carry on doing this, I'll pause the video because you don't have to watch me do this uh, Right here, so I have successfully used uh, Media Player Classic Home Cinema to save all 11 tracks into my tutorial folder on my desktop. What I'm going to do now is enqueue these or play them in Fuba, which I am also going to use to uh, convert them. So I just highlight all of them, I right click on them, I go to convert and I click on the three punctuations here. And this will allow me to choose audio output format, the destination, processing, and so on. Uh, if you watched my tutorial earlier today, I already showed you how to set all of this up. So I'm just going to use my uh, preset. I'm going to convert. I'm going to choose my MP3 folder. And I'm going to click OK. Um, this will convert our WAV files to MP3 files. Um, all you have to do then because this was a uh, bit of a complicated way of doing it, uh, you're not quite finished now, you have to then go and rename each track individually. Um, i probably make a tutorial on how you can edit mp3 tags quite easily, um, so keep a lookout for that one. Um, take care, I hope this uh, helps some of you with those problematic audio CDs. Um, yeah, see you around.